Welcome again to City News Daily on City TV. Our headline, 34 people arrested by the police for looting shops in the Nungwa traditional area. Details of the story and others shortly. Stay with us. So on Thursday, Ghana's finance minister presented the NPP's first budget statement on the floor of parliament. A number of things uh, were said today, but one thing that got spare part dealers at Abusoka in jubilating was a decision by the NPP government to remove the duty on the importation of spare part. Well, today, City News Daily uh, visited the Kwame Nkrumah Circle in Accra and asked the drivers how this news would impact their business. The prices of the parts are less. Maybe we get some mechanical problem going to Abusoka. You understand? Maybe them to ask the government to reduce the price of their duties. We can also benefit from them. When we two are going to buy it, we we'll get, like, we'll get it cheap. You understand? But I have one problem. That it will be a way that when they reduce the prices for them, the price will also remain the same. Why them to they will not reduce the price for us? That will also create another problem for us. So now this is the whole thing. So unless they they reduce it and we to we know that when we are going to buy it, the price is low before we know that the government has done its part. That's all I can say. It's a good thing for for Especially if we are Ghanaian, you are happy for the first time when after budget people were committed. All educated people are at the meeting. Now by next month or next two months, those who go to Japan, Korea to bring the past, they will tell us what they are saying is true. When you go to the market, you also have to pay. If I'm buying a uh, shock at over 6 million, and now it's 4 million. Now, a Lebanese national who is a supervisor at the Labadi branch of Mawako restaurant is in the grips of the police for allegedly assaulting a 25 year old staff. Jihad Chaban is said to have grabbed the head of the lady and dipped her face in blended pepper. Jihad subsequently locked her up with the burning hurt and eyes, preventing her other colleagues from helping her. He has since been granted police and quarry bail. Let's stay with the police. And 34 people have been arrested by the police for violently attacking some shop owners and looting their shops within the Nungwa traditional area. The suspects are alleged to have compelled some business owners to comply with a directive from the Nungwa Traditional Council for all businesses to shut down from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. today as part of the traditional burial rites of the high priest of the area. They are alleged to have looted and stolen some items from scores of shops in the area. In other news... That will be all for today's edition of City News Daily on City TV. My name is Pearl Akanyo. Thanks so much for your time.